Hey, Walter, good to see you. Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about soft hands. Uh, there was a discussion that came up on Twitter a couple nights ago that we had some fun with. Basically, the, the topic is what, how, how do you take a 10-year-old and explain to them the concept of soft hands? So the, the example I always use, if we are, if you're at school, and you have a young kid come up to you and, and say he's an exchange student or whatever, he never played baseball, but he looks at catchers and he goes, you know, I, I, that gear is just sweet. I want to wear it. Um, and you, the kid would go up to a player on the team and say, you know, I just transferred over here. I'm from this country or whatever. Never played baseball. I want to learn. It looks like a lot of fun, but I want to do that catching. I, I love that gear that you're wearing. It's pretty sweet. How can I do it? And then from asking around, they might say, you know, I've been told that you have to have soft hands when you catch. So the question is, what are soft hands? You know, when, when a kid says, I have to have soft hands, but what, what does that mean? Does it mean that I, you know, I keep them soft, I moisturize them? You know, is it a, is it a way to, to funnel or to give or to, um, you know, we, we talked about catching an egg or catching a water balloon. So, for example, if this is an egg, Okay, and you should always treat it like an egg. But if I'm catching an egg in an egg toss, if I'm, a, um, if I'm at a family picnic back in the day, we'd have egg toss, water balloon tosses, and you'd throw it, and the way that you caught it would be like this. Okay, here's the ball. I gotta be gentle. I gotta cradle it. I gotta let it give. Okay, well, that is all fine and dandy. It's a great analogy. Problem is, you are not catching the ball like this. Okay, there's nobody in the history of baseball that is gonna have a ball thrown at him. And catch like this. So therefore, what we need to do is figure out a way to explain it better. So we've had some other analogies. I used a uh, posted on Twitter earlier a video of a of a um, pillow. When you throw a ball into a pillow, that's kind of on the line, on the right path that we want to go to when we're talking about this. But let me explain a little further. So when you have a pillow, okay. And you take, um, I'm, in, I'm in Buffalo, New York right now. It's freaking snowing, if you can believe it. That's why I'm not outside. But if you, if you have a snow day and you say, I still want to get my arm loose, I want to throw, what am I going to do? I want to sneak up into my parents' room and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a ball somewhere in there. You know, but I don't want them to know what I'm up to. So I'm going to take a ball and I'm going to throw it on their bed. But I'm not going to hit it off the bed because it's going to bounce off the, off the mattress. What I want to do is I want to take that ball and I want to throw it into my parents' pillow. Parents usually have a couple big pillows on the bed, big, fluffy. They fluff them up, they flip them over, they look pretty, right? We want to mess them all up. So what we're going to do is when we throw that ball into the pillow, like the video that I showed earlier, the ball is going to hit the pillow, but it's not going to bounce off, right? Because pillows are soft, obviously they're made of feathers. When the ball hits the pillow, the pillow is going to collapse around it. So what I like to do is use an analogy of with my hand. If I turn my hand to the outside part of the pillow, okay, so here's just a regular pillow all, you know, we just slept on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fluff it up. We're going to give it like this. So here's the outside of the pillow, right? It is, it is a nice shape. It's nice and tight. It looks pretty on the bed. And now when we throw a ball into it, here comes the ball. But what our hand is going to do is at this spot right here, right at this time, the ball is going to allow the pillow to start to collapse. It's going to collapse into the hand. Okay, this is where we absorb it. So it's collapsing into the hand. You can see how my fingers now and my thumb are starting to come down. Right, so the question I, I threw out to a couple people the other day was when you are receiving the ball, are you, do you have any tension in your hands? And most of the people that I spoke with said, hey, you know, no, we don't want any tension. We want to be loose. We want to be relaxed the whole time. Well, if I put a glove on, okay? Yes, a little plug for All Star. If I put a glove on and I'm setting up here and I have my hand completely limp, loose, relaxed inside this glove, Glove's going to have this shape to it, okay? Why? Because I'm loose, because I'm relaxed. It's the same as if you don't even do anything with the glove. You're just going to sit there like this. 
Problem is, when you have to catch a ball, it is impossible to keep your hand like this, which is completely loose and relaxed, and try to catch a ball, okay? It'd be like shooting your uh, your hand up with Novocaine, or not Novocaine, but you know, if you, ever, if you ever had to get stitches, they're gonna give you a little needle and they're gonna numb it up. So, or if you sit on your hand for like half hour, you wake up and you're like, Jesus, it's all, it's all pins and needles, I can't feel it. That's how you would try to be catching with if your hand was completely relaxed the whole time. So there's gotta be a point where you're gonna have some type of tension. So the tension is going to be before the ball catches your body, before the, the hand catches the ball. It has to be, because you have to open the glove. If I have my hand relaxed, okay, that's fine. But at some point, I'm gonna have to go here to get it open. Now, if I'm going ahead and opening my hand and catching it, how many guys do you see on TV? How many guys do you play with right now or you're playing catch with, or even you guys that are doing lessons? How many kids actually go like this? They catch the ball, right? This right here, this is not, this is not soft. This is tense. This, if it was an egg being thrown at you, and if I am throwing an egg at a kid, I'm throwing it straight. I want them to catch it, an egg this way, okay? But if they go like this, that damn thing's breaking. They got egg all over the place, okay? So we have to, we have to change it up a little bit. The mentality is, yeah, I got, I'm soft, I'm here, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. There's a specific point where, you, where it happens, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about, on impact. So before, and this is this is what I do, you know, I, I feel like I've had some success. The guys that I teach that are floating around in, in pro baseball right now, as well as the younger kids that I that I work with now. When I am setting up, I'm not gonna be here. I want to get my glove open. Okay? Number one. Yeah, my thumb's at five o'clock, but when I'm setting up like this. My glove is completely wide open here. It's not like this, right? Guys will start off, they'll be like this, and they'll go like that, you know, they'll drop or, or look for, for timing on the glove. If I go like this, my hand's loose, it still has to go open, close. If I close my glove, right, on the ball, now watch the forearms. It's flexing, okay, so I have tension there. If you can do this the current, I won't say my way, okay? You know, when we're talking about being soft, I want to catch with minimal effort, okay? I don't want to put a lot of effort. I don't want to try so hard to grab the damn ball because I don't need to. If I want to be smooth, effortless, relaxed, I'm going to let the ball close the ball, close the glove for me. So if I'm setting up here, move this down a little bit. All right. So if I'm setting up, and I'm right here, the ball comes in, my hand's wide open, the glove collapses around it. Same as a pillow. Ball's coming in here, it's hitting. At this point, everything here is going to go limp. I want to take my hand, and I want to stretch it out. I want to pull my fingers back as far as I can to mimic the outside of a pillow. So when I'm here and the ball hits my hand, right at this spot right here, my hand is going to go to sleep. You're going to relax it completely. So if you're watching this, take your hand, stretch it out as wide as you can. You'll feel tension running up through here, okay? This right here, if I relax it on my, put it on my knee like I am in a game, and I'm just going to open up my fingers. Open up my fingers as wide as I can, okay? Now, when I'm in this position, do we see this? We got an L right there. When I put my hand in my glove, I want my hand to be wide. I want it to be as big as I can to keep the thing open. When you see guys that are setting up and they go like this, push it open a little bit, yes, that's a big target. So when the ball comes in, they can relax. The gloves are broken in enough where they're gonna automatically close around the ball. But you're gonna see guys that will grab, twist, this and that. Even the guys that you see in the big leagues, there's a lot of guys that are relaxed. There's guys that aren't, you know, but they found a way to get up there. That's that's fine with them. They're sitting like this, it's from this position, and they're relaxed. 
relaxing as it gets, riding it up. Right into that motion there. Okay. So, when we're doing this with our hand, we want to do drills where we can relax. Right on impact. Right from there, right from there. So when you're throwing the drills with your, with your lessons or with your buddies or you're working on this stuff, hold your hand as wide as you can. And when it fits, let it collapse around it. Don't grab, don't squeeze. And for the guys that you're, you're throwing balls with and you're, you're working on trying to be soft, if they have to grab, okay, yes, they're gonna break an egg. If you wanna throw eggs at people, great. Throw water balloons, throw eggs, but do it the right way and make sure that they're catching, especially as a catcher, where they have to be like this. Because you're not gonna take a ball and say, okay, here it comes, and I'm gonna do this way. It's just not gonna happen. Water balloon, same thing, not gonna do it. Nobody's gonna catch a ball like this. When you do it, do it game, not so much game speed, but game, make it realistic for them. So if ball's coming in straight at them, okay, how are you gonna be soft with your hand? What I would do is I would have kids open up their hand as wide as they can, and I'm gonna back up probably about 10 to 15 feet. I'm gonna throw the ball at them. I'm gonna throw it underhand, but it's gonna be a little firm. It's gonna come in straight, and all I'm gonna tell them to do is once it hits your hand, all I want you to do is let your hand completely relax. I'll walk around in a circle with them, and if I've got four or five kids with their hands like this, as soon as I touch it, I'll say, go to sleep, and they relax. Go limp, go to sleep. So it's collapsing right either a split second before contact or right at contact. So when I have the kids doing this, I'll start throwing balls. Say, all right, here it comes. And all they're doing is this, okay? Ball comes in, I'm absorbing. I'm not going like this. I don't have a lot of movement. I'm letting my hand relax. But as it relaxes, it's from here, it's wide, to relax, to loose. I had an old coach in the, uh, the Phillies, they used to do this. He, he would catch guys, he'd go down to second base and catch guys. You know, catcher would come out throwing to him, and he'd sit down there, and he had these big paws that looked like sausages. I leave his name onto this with a couple people that had played with me, they'll know exactly who I'm talking with. He would sit down like this, and he'll bare hand guys, just go like this. Doesn't matter how hard they're throwing, right? Because he's timing it perfectly. He's relaxing the hand. The hand is tense before the ball comes and hits, because it has to get the glove open. If I'm going like this, open and close, I'm gonna be stiff. So why not get your set up, hold it open here, and hold your hand wide. Feel your fingers stretching. Hold the glove open. Form that L with your hand. This is the space we wanna catch the ball into. We don't wanna be like this. We're gonna catch in this little space right here. We want this sucker big. That's where we wanna guide the ball into. So my hand's gotta be open as wide as it can. Now, when it hits, relax. It'll close automatically. You don't have to go like that. Squeeze, twist, just being firm. Whether you're out here a little bit, whether you're deep, makes no difference. Ball still has to hit. When it hits, relax. Close it up. That's all I got. Um, so I'm bored as hell as everybody else. So I will try to think of something next week or tomorrow or whatever and uh you know we'll work on that too whether it's transfer footwork um whatever you guys want but in the meantime try this drill um put your hand up like this feel it stretch wide as you can and then let it just relax that moment of relaxing is just as the ball is coming in you, it, it's amazing once you do a couple you'll be able to, to have people literally throw balls at you Catch them barehanded, just like this. And when you put your glove on and feel how big it is, relaxing at the right moment, guess what the glove does then? Pops. That's what everyone loves to hear. All right, I'm out. Have a good day.